With Starfleet encountering new races and new technology all the time, it's no surprise that quantum slipstream technology would become a focus for the USS Voyager stranded 75,000 light years from the safety of Federation space. Hello and welcome to Trek Facts, a fun and fast informational series on the fundamentals of Star Trek. In today's episode, we're taking a look at the quantum slipstream drive in an effort to better understand its place in Star Trek history. USS Voyager's first encounter with this new technology occurred in 2374, when the crew, believing they had received a message from Starfleet Command that contained the answer to all their problems, arrived at a set of coordinates contained within the message, only to discover a new Federation starship named the USS Dauntless waiting for them. The away team sent to investigate this starship quickly discovered that it contained a new propulsion system developed by Starfleet called the Quantum Slipstream Drive. The drive itself operated by routing energy through the ship's main deflector, which then created a quantum field around the vessel allowing the ship to break through what is known as the Quantum Barrier. This allowed a starship to travel at immense velocities while at the same time only requiring the standard structural and inertial dampening fields to keep the ship from tearing itself apart or killing the vessel's crew. One drawback of this propulsion system, however, was that the phase variance of the quantum field generated by the starship had to be continually adjusted or the slipstream itself would collapse, and the vessel within the slipstream would be flung back into normal space at such a rate of speed that it would be unlikely the ship would survive the exit. Unfortunately for the crew of the USS Voyager, the Dauntless was actually an alien vessel made to look like a Federation starship by a man named Arcturus, who intended to get his revenge on Captain Catherine Janeway and the crew of Voyager by handing them over to the Borg Collective. Arcturus blamed Voyager for helping the Borg defeat Species 8472, and as a result, his homeworld was assimilated. You negotiated an agreement with the Borg Collective. Safe passage through their space. Did it ever occur to you that there were those of us in the Delta Quadrant with a vested interest in that war? Victory would have meant annihilation of the Borg, but you couldn't see beyond the bow of your own ship! Using the knowledge that they had gained from being on the Dauntless, Chakotay and the crew of Voyager were able to enter Slipstream and rescue the kidnapped Janeway and Seven of Nine before they reached Borg space. Voyager was then able to remain in Slipstream for approximately one hour before having to shut down the field, and their diagnostics concluded that they could not risk using that technology again as it was. This did not deter the efforts of Voyager's crew, however, from attempting to develop a workable version of the technology for themselves. A year later, the crew were able to construct their own version of the quantum slipstream drive after discovering Benamite crystals in an asteroid belt. These crystals would allow them to overcome some of the technical issues which resulted from their first attempt. Although the technology seemed promising, Tom Paris, Voyager's chief helmsman, found an issue within the phase variance created by the drive. This problem would cause the quantum matrix to overload and as a result would destroy the ship. To rectify this problem, Harry Kim devised a solution where the Delta Flyer would travel ahead and map the phase variance, giving Voyager enough time to correct their quantum fields and allow the ship to navigate the slipstream safely. What was not known then, but would be later transmitted to Harry Kim from 15 years in the future, was the fact that the entire experiment failed and Voyager was in fact destroyed as a result. Only after 15 years of searching and planning were an older Harry Kim and Chakotay able to find the wrecked ship and the dead crew and use the Doctor along with Seven of Nine's cranial implants to send a message through time with a set of phase corrections that would ultimately see Voyager's quantum field collapse safely and the USS Voyager would continue on its way. Even though the trip was a failure, their limited time within Slipstream cut approximately 10 years off their journey and the data collected would be very valuable to Starfleet Command. Since this failed experiments, there have been no other attempts to achieve slipstream velocities. 
though Starfleet continues to research the project. And one day Starfleet hopes this technology will become a viable form of travel, opening up the entire galaxy and beyond for scientific exploration. <laughs>